My name's Catherine Green and I'm a laboratory technician at Exova. It's day-to-day -day running of samples and it's, it's extracting different types of foods and then we run them using a variety of techniques depending on what the sample is and what we're looking for. It's just to, to make sure that food is safe to eat and there's nothing that's going to be harmful or harmful to certain individuals like allergens but I mean most of it's sort of mycotoxin work which is like deadly funguses growing on things like nuts and fruit. I just left university and I had a chemistry degree and just walked into it really. <laughs> I went through an employment agency so I just went onto their books and they said that they had this opening and they offered it to me and that was that. No, I never thought I'd work in science really. I didn't, I didn't enjoy my degree, which is in chemistry. So I thought I'd probably end up doing office work. But um, I started at the lab and I ended up really liking it. So I think I'm gonna stick with it now. I did like science when I chose the degree. I enjoyed my A-level a lot. So I thought um, chemistry might be for me, but then the actual degree was so, so different from the A-level. It's much more intense. And when you're there and you're having 30 plus contact hours a week and you live with people that are having four contact hours a week, you just feel like you've got sort of the harder end of the bargain. It just, it felt like a lot of hard work and the content didn't appeal to me really. I was never that interested by it. So I, I suppose I never gave it my full, I never really took that, I never, I don't know, I just, it wasn't for me, it was the wrong choice. I shouldn't have done it, really, is the answer. Well, during my GCSEs, I think all of my best ones were sciences. So for my A-levels, I chose biology, chemistry, maths and physics. And then throughout the course of the A-levels, chemistry was the one that I enjoyed the most. So I chose it. I, I haven't, hadn't thought about a job in particular. I was just going with what I enjoyed at the time. I'm happy where I am now. I don't regret my choices, but I think had I have thought about it more at a younger age, I probably would have chosen something different. Both of my parents have arts degrees and I just went straight for the sciences and my brothers are both going for sciences as well, so, which is going opposite from the parents. My dad and all of his siblings all went to university and my mum and all of her siblings all went to university as well, so it was just expected you will go to university and you will have a degree. Well, my dad is an archivist and he worked for the uh, Express and Star newspaper, but he's recently been made redundant and my mum gave up work when we were little, so she's a housewife. From a um, technician's level, the next step up would be a senior technician, and then you'd become an analyst, and then you'd become a senior analyst, and then it's principal analyst. And then from there, you can move up the company and go into different areas, but principal analyst is the top of the actual lab work. You don't need a degree for it. I, mean, I work with somebody that um, she's higher up than me, she left school at 16, so I could have had this job at 18 or 16, and by now, when I'm 22, I could have been a senior technician or an analyst or higher. For the career progression that I'm planning, um, I've pretty much sorted myself out with a chemistry degree, that's, that's all I need. But, um, I mean, as I said, you could, have, you could have my job with no real qualifications, but you can't get to the higher, higher up levels without the degree. You need the degree to become a principal analyst. Um, the best part of the job is when you are really, really overworked and overstressed. And um, by the end of the day, you've put in enough effort such that you've got all the results out on time. It's quite satisfying to think, yeah, I, I did that on, on my own and no one, like, no one can take away the fact that I did it. I'm at the bottom of the ladder, but I think I probably have more responsibility than other people at the bottom of the ladder, just, just because of the lab that I work in. We're quite um, a laid-back lab in terms of, you know, sharing the responsibility between everyone, and everyone's sort of an equal member of the team. 